how to create a robots text file for Google hello and welcome back again as we now know that it is important for us to make Google's crawling process to find what we have on our site easy that's why we need to use robots.txt file so that we can do that I am looking at Google Webmaster Tools help section which actually tells you more details about different user agent um, Google uses on internet okay so you can read more about it so let's go quickly and let's first copy this couple of lines of text here and when we do all we have to do is you know find our root folder as we've been using here and simply open up a notepad in Windows it comes prepackaged as we know and let's paste that what we've copied in it and let's save as let me put this here so we see robots.txt file okay simple as that now we've created one as you can see we have one now right so let's open that up and let's say okay why are we using this now we know why we're using it okay and what you're seeing on the screen now basically tells Googlebot you know what Googlebot when you come to my website I disallow you not any pages so therefore it can you know index everything okay but what if what if I put this forward slash here and then save this and then upload this robots.txt file to my server with this just one line of code I've basically told Google to not index my entire website so therefore I've seen this happen meaning don't make an honest mistake to include that forward slash and then upload it okay because that's not how it works if you want Google to index everything simply leave it as you're seeing on the screen and that's it okay but what if you want to you know <laughs> block Google to crawl let's say private folder okay let's say if you want to do that then then you put the forward slash and say okay you name you give the name of your private folder so if you then upload this file as you're seeing on your screen right now you're then telling Google okay Google you know what you can index my entire website but whatever is within this folder don't index it okay that's how you use this um, robots.txt file if you want to block certain things in this example it's the entire folder and whatever is within it it will not crawl it or index it. but you can also let's say you have a specific file let's say you have a local folder and within that you have a private HTML file well if you don't want Google to just not index that and crawl that then you can use it as such as well so now that's how we create and use this file if we want to block certain things but because we should not want to block certain things okay let's save it as such and that's the default as in it will index everything and crawl everything now but as we've seen in the previous video session we can actually say okay Google you know what now you came to fetch robots.txt file from my server just I'm gonna make your job easy and I'm gonna actually tell you where my sitemap is located okay And then let's save this so let's open up that file in Dreamweaver okay then what you're saying with this now is you saying okay Google I allow you everything and here's my sitemap go and get that and then you put this online so once this is uploaded you can do so uploaded in your hosting account simply locate your file manager and then it has to be 
inside public underscore HTML folder right as you can see for it to work it has to be there now one more thing before we close this video session is you may have you know let's say you showcase photographs and you, you your online business revolves around that if that's the case it's only intelligent for you to create image sitemaps right so you can actually give two different sitemap locations to Google in your robots.txt file but what if you know your website revolves around video tutorials and so on and why not then create a sitemap for your videos because Google can understand all that stuff right to make Google's job easy is the aim that we should have when we want to rank our keywords so therefore using robots.txt file we are making Google's job of understanding our website easy that's why we use it thank you very much I'll talk to you in the next video session